Hi team, just a quick video. Um, got asked a few times recently how to produce nuts, uh, welded rods, um, and then how to make all those objects appear in your vault list. So in this particular example, you can see I have a nut and a um, rod welded to a piece of plate to get it with some bolts. Over here, I've got a beam with a plate and a GP, an AC bracket welded to the beam. Purely just to try and show you an example because both the nut in this case and the AC bracket are both special parts. Now, uh, if I was to uh, show you my bomb, so basically if we sit down and change the report contents from your bolt list, so you can see your bolt list generally just produces bolts. Um, if I was to change the uh, report contents to include straight beams and special parts, um, if I just detach my extra filter, which I'll come back to in a moment, um, and then go and run my report based on my extraction, which I've already created, you can see it returns back the beam, the rod, the nut, uh, the bolts, the AC bracket, and the nut, which isn't what we want. What we do want to do, though, is if we add in a um, XSLT file, which again um, I, I'll cover in how it's created in or uh, how we've done this, it'll be covered in a, a knowledge base article as well. If we add this, um, and in this particular case, because the name of special parts is different to beams and plates, um, I've also added in here a formula for the name to say if the object type is a special part, use the free remarks field, otherwise just use the name field, okay? And you'll see that when I run the report now, pick yes, pick my extraction again, I only get my round bars and my uh, bolts and my nut. Now, why is that? Well, the reason that we get that is if I close this down and go and look at my special parts. So my special part, for example, it has a model role that I've given it called special part bolt. And my nut, I've given the same model role. So with this particular model role and the fact that it could be a beam or a special um, part, I'm able to um, filter out those particular uh, elements and filter them into the report. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Enjoy.